The ongoing saga between Niger and France seems to have no end, as yet another episode of their standoff has occurred. The French Foreign Ministry said on Tuesday, June 12, that a French official had been detained in Niger and urged the junta to free him immediately. Stéphane Jallien, counselor for French nationals abroad, a non-diplomatic, elected job, was arrested last Friday, according to the ministry's account, and his immediate release is demanded. Julian, according to the ministry, is an advisor to French people in Niger, and he was apprehended on September 8 by Niger security personnel. From day one, our embassy has worked to ensure consular protection for our compatriots, the statement added. Recall that French-Niger relations have been strained since military officers deposed elected President Mohamed Bazoum in July and then ordered French officials to leave the country in August. An order that France has refused to obey, claiming that Niger's junta is not the country's legitimate authority. In an address to ambassadors in August, Macron downplayed fears that defying the junta would be harmful. The detention of a French official is bound to exacerbate tensions between France and Niger. The French administration, backed by President Emmanuel Macron, is now pressing for Stéphane Jallien's immediate release. The circumstances surrounding Jallien's arrest remain unknown, with the foreign ministry providing no information on the location or manner of his detention. Nonetheless, France has said that they are keeping a close eye on the issue and have promised to do everything in their power to assure Jallien's safety and the protection of his rights while he is detained. The military of Niger has accused France of amassing personnel and weapons in multiple West African nations in preparation for a military intervention against Niamey. Colonel Amadou Abdrimain, a spokesman for Niger's coup leaders, made the assertion late Saturday on national television. He stated that France was still deploying military forces in ECOWAS member countries as part of preparations for an aggression against Niger, which it is planning in collaboration with this community organization. According to him, large quantities of war material and equipment have been unloaded in Senegal, Ivory Coast, and Benin, to name a few. Meanwhile, in Niamey, Hundreds of protesters have been organizing near-daily protests to demand the evacuation of French soldiers stationed at a military installation. France has approximately 1,500 troops in the nation as part of a larger campaign against Al-Qaeda and ISIS-affiliated forces. In the midst of the tensions, AFP reported on Tuesday that Paris was in talks with the military about withdrawing elements of its mission in Niger. It quoted a source in the French Defense Ministry. The military appointed Prime Minister, Ali Mohamed Lomainzin, has also stated that talks are ongoing regarding a very swift withdrawal of France's troops. The US, which has approximately 1,100 personnel in Niger, has begun to redeploy its troops as a precaution from Niamey to the central city of Agadez, according to the US Department of Defense. That's all we have for now on some of the most recent developments in the Niger coup. Thank you for taking the time to watch. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment, hit the like button, subscribe and share.